Hi, very good morning. Uh, my name is Mark van Oevelen. I'm the uh, commander on uh, this flight to uh, Cancun today. Flight number is uh, 501, jet air flight, flight number. And the uh, flight time is just about 11 hours. So we've just done the uh, pre-flight inspection of the uh, flight deck. And now we're going to proceed to uh, with the external inspection. So if you would just care to follow along, I'll explain some things along the way. This is actually a drawing uh, made by a very famous uh, Belgian artist, uh, Panamarenko. I don't know if you've heard about him already. There's a drawing on the outside of the fuselage as well as on the inside. Full runway length shall we take? Yeah, I took full 25 right. Condition, the runway is dry. What is the wind today, Pierre? The wind, 190 degrees at 6 knots. Okay, do. There we go. Uh, QNH 1024, 208, 292. Uh, Takeoff weight today. Yes. Thrust that's optimum. Improved climb optimum. Flap optimum. Reverses all operative. Yep. Engine and the eyes off. Yep. This is quite uh, new as well compared to older generation of aircraft. We uh, start both engines at the same time. It's an auto start sequence as you can see on our uh, engine display and the uh, engine start is governed automatically um, by the aircraft. We don't, which is quite different as well from previous aircraft, we don't use bleed air to start the uh, turbine of the engine. We use actually, we make use of starter generators which uh, means that the engines are started electrically uh, by a starter uh, generator. Rotate. Pulse different. It's quite a good thing flying the Dreamliner because the aircraft is able to, f to fly very high in the beginning of the flight. So we can, as you can see, we can take immediately flight level 380. Whereas, for example, with um, Boeing 767, our maximum flight level would be like 340 or 350 in earlier days. Which allows us, in turn, to get um, our clearance most of the time, as we have requested it, as we can fly above uh, most uh, traffic uh, with the uh, 787. In this menu, you can also choose any non-normal uh, checklists. So, volcanic ash is a long checklist, <laughs> actually. Four pages. <laughs> Four pages, yeah, you can see the number of pages on the right side here. So. Of course, it automatically comes up on the first checklist. What does it say the volcanic ash checklist condition? Volcanic ash is suspected when one or more of these occur. So it gives you the examples uh, to detect volcanic ash. So uh, what can it be? Static discharge around the windshield. A bright glow in the engine inlets. Smoke or dust on the fly deck. On this aircraft, you can also see uh, where we are supposed to extend the flaps. So it gives you a help or an idea of uh, what to do to control the uh, energy of the aircraft. So at that point we should be uh, at flaps 1 and the flaps 1 speed, flaps 5. Gear down flaps 20 and then uh, set the landing flaps which will be uh, flaps 25. So Mark, you can uh, select the flaps 25 if of you want Of course, to. I will do that for you Pierre. Okay, that was a very nice landing, uh, Pierre. Thank you. Well done, I would say. Thanks. Do you see anything special today, Pierre, that would affect our flight? Well, maybe uh, Udo from the gym seat, but for the rest, <laughs> 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 nothing special. The fact that we're uh, <laughs> starting a Hollywood career.